What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the Clutch. Hey, hey, back to ladies and gentlemen of the video that you feel me? Weatherman who lost it on live TV? Yeah. All right. This you should... losing, man? You trying to get this weather down? I know the, I know the weathermen in Houston be having to, you know, they, they, they got to do something, fam, because you don't know what the weather going to be. They report one thing and then it go, mm -hmm. boom. Here yeah. you go. Here I am. Yeah, man. Hey, hey, this is the thing about whether we can somewhat kind of predict it, but a lot of times it's just going to, Mother Nature going to do what Mother Nature wants to do, and yeah. we just got to sit there and hold on. If it want to rain on this flat earth, it will. <laughs> Not the flat earth. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. See what... No, uh, it. Somebody go. <laughs> see what these weathermen are <laughs> talking about or not talking about. Somebody going to be like... I get... <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't want to start that. that. Lost it on live TV. On live TV. In May 2019, a tornado shredded the streets of Dayton, Ohio. Luckily, Damn. locals can't say yeah. the alarms weren't sounded. According to Newsweek, thanks to Fox 45's weatherman James Simpson. This, well, this heavy rain is oh, between no, you and the tornado. But not everyone was happy about it. Simpson's live report, say, made several that? hours before the tornadoes rushed through, cut in on an airing of The Bachelorette. Uh, I was just checking social media. We have viewers complaining already. Just go back to the show. No, we're not going back to the show, folks. Rather than ignore Duh. the social media fire, Simpson flipped out. I'm sick and tired of people complaining about this. Our job here is to keep people safe, and Facts. that is what and we're going to do. About the yeah, and some of you complain that this is all about my ego. Stop. Okay, stop. just stop right now. It's not. He the tornado it ended up claiming one life, destroying oh, a large oh, man, part of central Ohio and injuring 12, according to Today. And they when Simpson's clip went viral, Dayton locals praised him for his dedication. Of course. Right. Back in 2000. Like, yeah. how can you give... Huh? Go back to the show. Hey, if you don't shut up and just be patient, we're trying to give people some Fam, I'm some telling you, information. Some damn, uh, hurt, a tornado coming down the street and you want to watch The Bachelor? That's motherfuckers that it don't affect or for them or whatever. And they don't yeah. care. And so I'm just trying to get back to this. It's not in my county. No, bro. Hey, if I see something like that, if it cuts off a show, because they only do that unless it's an emergency or some serious, mm -hmm. I take heed to it. Whether, well, you know what I'm saying, if I'm not in that county or wherever, you know, I take heed to it because obviously it was important enough for mm -hmm. them to cut out broadcast television to let people know, hey, you may want to get... You know, you may want to move around. You may, if you can get to cover, get to cover, because it's about to get serious. So. And it's probably somebody you know. Like, I, I remember before we even reposted on social media of people in Houston whenever we weren't supposed to use the water in certain mm -hmm. areas. And I was just reposting in case people, you know, may didn't see it on um, mm -hmm. on the news or anything like that. But come on, man. Got to be better. Dang. Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina. Katrina. 2005, CNN weather reporter Chad Myers Damn. was explaining the situation surrounding Hurricane Katrina. But when anchor Carol Costello kept asking him to speak in words the average viewer could understand, Myers hulked out. Lower Chad, pressure, Chad, but Chad, Camille, Chad, but Chad, let me Trans talk, Carol. Translate oh, yeah, that for us. Evidently, Myers didn't like the situation. <laughs> well, if you would let me talk. <laughs> the By documents. the end, Myers smiled and claimed that he was just having fun, but it sure didn't look like yeah, it. Yeah, no, All right, will, thank you, Chad. All right, just having fun with <laughs> this morning. No, he was definitely <laughs> To be pissed. fair, The Week points out that this footage was filmed and broadcast at 4.30 a.m., and Yo. that's one heck of an hour to keep it together on camera. Yeah. A lot of people find the mere sight of a spider too much to bear, including global news meteorologist Christy oh, Gordon, who freaked out on live uh, TV <laughs> when a giant arachnid was projected right over her head. Oh, oh my wow. gosh, that was creepy. Don't play like that. As you can imagine, her co-workers erupted in hysterical That's delight. Funny. <laughs> Even the sight of it. Right. No, I hate Come it. On. I can't stand it. Although she was clearly a good sport, it took her a moment to shake off oh, the heebie-jeebies. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. That's a oh so sorry. My. Back when everybody was bonding over the miserable 2018 oh, cold snap, Grand Rapids meteorologist Gary Frank was clearly tired of everyone complaining, according to the Detroit damn. News. After reporting day in and day out on... We sitting here talking about the damn teens. Zero, zero, three. Oh, those are winds and gusts. Oh, well, I was, I was about, about to say, say bro, that's... Antarctic-style conditions, the Frank finally snapped. Well, because you guys are dragging 30s. me down. You guys keep... Well, every time I get done well, with the seven-day, you guys are like... Oh, gosh. He continued. <laughs> Every time. Doesn't matter what time I come on. 4.30, 5.30, 
6 30 and then you expect me to be chipper for five straight hours <laughs> to be honest that does sound chipper. like a horrible gig yeah here's yeah, a 60 right. i don't know if that's good enough for you guys oh, i'm excited maybe i'll disappoint you with the seven day here in a few minutes <laughs> cnn he said, reported on witi hey, tv's angelica Duria, who got stuck standing in a milwaukee snowstorm Damn. for an entire morning reporting on weather that clearly wasn't going to improve. Yeah. But as the lunch hour finally approached, Daria's good spirits melted away and she finally lit up the screen. I have been here since, what, 3.30 this morning. I'm exhausted. I've run out of things to say. It is snowing <laughs> and it sucks here. Not surprisingly, everyone back in the studio applauded. <laughs> Wow, these niggas are right. warm and Australian shit with the coffee. Hey, Steve Jacobs. that's some shit. They, got, they, they all warm with the coffee and everything, and they sitting up there. Yeah, yeah man. That, she had to stay out there since 3 that morning? Yeah, bro. Hey, over there. Hey, you're doing a great job. Fam, like, I would have been in the van. Yeah, bro. Look, it's cold and snowing. Ain't nothing else to talk it about. It ain't changing. <laughs> Why you got, well, I got to be out there live to let you know what is happening right now? That's We're paying you, honey. So you're going to... That's crazy, see. bro. Australian weather see. reporter Steve Jacobs once met a curious Whoa. pelican named Marnie while reporting from the zoo. Marnie. Brushes the south. Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> oh <laughs> damn. Oh, Mar oh, yeah. Yo. <laughs> to hey, be fair, get Marnie. Marnie. The pelican's pecking attack seemed more Marnie playful than aggressive, but that didn't make it any less hilarious. Bebopped. Listen, that was so great. Stop laughing. Oh, I gotta sit down. Woo, when animals attack, there's a beauty never expected. <laughs> my butt taken off my belly. In 2017, Fox 2 weather reporter Derek Kevra got so infuriated by people who didn't properly clean the snow off their cars that he filmed an entire sequence explaining how to do it. Now, this must be a really hard concept for people to understand. <laughs> so Kevra proceeded to sarcastically demonstrate how to use a snow brush and ice scraper. You're gonna begin with a generic left to right <laughs> swipe. He's then dumb. a couple inches below that, you'll swipe back. He added, and it's the scientific swiping motion that you will use not only on the sides, but the back scientific and all the way around 360 <laughs> degrees. The raging fury is so clear that it paints a magnificent portrait of what happens when you finally push a weatherman too far. Duh. Now I know, I know, it seems like a lot, but I promise if you follow those simple steps, you too will be able to clear the snow off of your car. Back if you're you, Boston's man. Weather Channel meteorologist James Cantori, the most glorious weather phenomenon of all is when lightning strikes during a snowstorm. Whoa. During a televised segment in Whoa. 2015, Cantori got so psyched about this bizarre phenomenon that he screamed, Oh, yes! 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 We got it, baby! According to the Washington Post, Cantori is well known throughout the weather community for his passion for so called thunder snow. Cantori told wow. the Boston Globe it's, quote, Kind That's of like crazy. two seasons coming together. That's right. Crazy. We got it. Yes. Listen to that. <laughs> Listen to that. Oh, baby. For his sake and the sake of his fans, hopefully another rocking thunder snow happens again <laughs> soon. Thinking like he won a championship. Back in 2010, right. according to the BBC, weatherman Thomas Schaffernacker got caught in a rather awkward snafu when cameras switched over a second too fast revealing him brandishing a prominent middle finger. Direct and pride, all the detail you could possibly oh want. No. I've just seen Tom Schaffernacker <laughs> preparing uh, for it, so I'm not in top. <gasps> oh. Schaffernacker tried to cover it up, but <laughs> no one was convinced. Every now and then, there's always one mistake. Oh, that was that's it. cold. A spokesman for the BBC quickly issued an apology, but this wasn't the first time that Schaffernacker's sense of humor got him into trouble. He previously had to apologize for calling a region, quote, Nowheresville during a 2007 oh, segment. Uh, and in 2009, he accidentally mispronounced the phrase muddy sight as a swear word. Check out one of our newest videos right here. <laughs> Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming That's soon. That's crazy, oh, bro. That hey. is definitely crazy. My boy was getting in trouble, for real. Mm -hmm. Didn't, didn't no. care. <laughs> he was like, Oops, my bad. I guess he was probably trying to do like the little middle finger while, mm -hmm. it, while it was on them. Mm -hmm. I bet they be doing like trying to make each other laugh when, you know, mm -hmm. the camera's live on someone else. You gotta do something when you up there early in the morning. Every you know day. Every day. Yeah. Or, you know, whenever they, most of the time they switch them out for the weekends, have some. Yeah, yeah, on the weekends. Yeah, yeah. do some, uh, come in for the weekends. But it's but still, hey, up. gotta Monday be up Friday. there. Gotta be up there, man. That's that's a, it's a, it's a strenuous job, but someone has to do it to let people know the information on the weather, even if it's inaccurate. <laughs> I wanna try it out. I think I could do like the news report and read the teleprompter. 
It's just not as easy, bro. It's not as easy at all. Bro. It's not. But you've done it. You did, didn't you try it in school? Mm hmm. Uh, I did it for like a internship for a little bit. Well, I saw them do it. And I was like, yeah, nah, I'm good. Let me be behind the camera in the you switch room. Would you slow it down? <laughs> nah, you screw yeah. and chop the teleprompter. <laughs> Man, you better get this shit when you get it. <laughs> Today on uh, Yeah, you gotta get it when you get it, bro. <laughs> but nah, man, if y'all enjoyed that video, <clears throat> you know what to do. Make sure you run up the like, subscribe. Let us know what else we need to be checking out. Again, this is Weatherman who lost it on mm -hmm. live TV. Would you be one of these guys if you had to do what they had to do on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. Let us know. Continue to run it up. Share. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me